Hello, good evening, and welcome to Van Wert High School, where tonight on WOSN will bring you a Western Buckeye League affair as the visiting Wapakan and Redskins will take on the host, Van Wert Cougars. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Darren Gilbert, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from Van Wert. And Gilly, I think one of the important words tonight, or maybe the, the key to tonight, is I think we're going to see a somewhat deliberate basketball game tonight. I, I think you're going to see two teams that's going to compete at both ends of the floor that are going to know one another very well. As crazy as this sounds, both these teams competed in football this fall, so they know themselves. Yeah. They know themselves, but as far as the coaching staffs, you know they break tapes down. Uh, Van Wert runs a, a system that's been here since Coach Fralick and Coach Elkert, you know, just a quick story about him. He was at Tiffin Columbia when I coached at Kenton, and, and whenever you prepared to go in and play against him, he would stand up and call every play and every set so, you know, his preparation, his game plan with his coaching staff, I know he's instilled in his kids coming into the night's game. And the Redskins have hung their hat defensively. Um, they're, they're giving up just under 50 points a contest, and um, the, the most they've given up in a game is 63. So uh, a, a team that's going to play hard defensively, and also uh, similar for uh, Van Wert. The, the highest they've given up is 57. There's they're seven games into the season, but uh, a pair of squads that are going to play Tight man-to-man -man defense, going to be deliberate with the basketball, and we'll see what kind of game we get here tonight. You know, I'm sitting here chuckling, but we were here when Van Wert played their, what, opening game, I believe it was? Yeah, second well, game of the, second second game game of the, of the first year. weekend and, of the and, season. And you them. could see football players playing basketball, yeah. and you could see the difference in their bodies physically. You know, just you can see that they have basketball legs now, so... You're going to see Van Wert at her peak right now. It's going to be a very entertaining game tonight. Like you said, it's going to be a slugfest at both, end, both ends of the floor. We've got the basketball in your center circle. The tip is won by Aiden Pratt of Van Wert. And the Cougars will begin with the basketball. They're starting five. Number five, Carson Smith. Number 10, Garrett Gunner. Number 15, Aiden Pratt. Nate Phillips wears number 24. And Luke Wessel has number 25 as Pratt tries to drive baseline. A foul committed by Nate Metzger of Wapak. The Redskins 3-7 and 0-2 and and in Western Buckeye League. We mentioned Trey Elkert in his third season. Redskins starting five. Zach Niekamp, Nate Metzger, Jackson Quarter, Chase Cash Shadel, and Deacon Redderer. Cougars with the basketball as Carson Smith is the inboundee. I'm wondering if the Cougars are donning new uniforms. They I are. There appears to be some <laughs> d discrepancies in numbers, huh? Aiden Pratt has the basketball at the top of the key. He'll hand off to Garrett Gunner. Gunner backs back out. Jump stops in the lane. Backdoor pass to Pratt. Lays it off the window at Aiden Pratt. Gets the Cougars on the Layfeld Industrial Welding Supply scoreboard. Nice pass. Nice back cut there by the big fella. Finishing at the rim. Nate Metzger. Jackson Quarter across the timeline for the Redskins for their first offensive possession. You see them get set up. Niekamp works to his left, gives to Metzger. Quarter on the right wing. Long three from Zach. Niekamp is up and good. With no hesitation there, he let, pulled the trigger on that one and knocked it down. Pratt in near quarter. Gives straight away. The left elbow. Cross court pass. Long three from the corner off the mark. And a rebound secured by Metzger. Good job by Metzger on the backside glass, getting the body on Pratt. Jackson Quarter, six foot five senior, goes to the window, and Jackson Quarter drops one in. Yep, got right by Wessel, number four. Now, there are a couple of number changes there. It's Luke Wessel wearing number four, Nate Phillips wearing number zero for the Cougars. As Wessel will put up a deep three and splashes it in. Big shot by that young man right there. So we are all knotted up at five here on the Layfeld Industrial Monic Supply scoreboard. Seventh three of the year for the young man. Seven out of 20 from behind the arc. Cougars trying to trap in the backcourt. Redskins get it across the timeline. His quarter puts it under his armpit for just a moment. As Kneekamp holds it inside the center circle, works to his left, bounces to Metzger. Metzger. Still surveying, gives to quarter, isolated on the near side of the floor. Tries to back down his defender and will hand off to Metzger. Metzger turns the corner, throws it off the window. 
That's one of those turn and burn around the corner with the dribble drive and finished hard at the glass and knocked it in. Pratt goes straight to the bucket. Pratt averages 16 points and eight rebounds a contest. Just notice the difference in his body, though, Garrett, <laughs> from when we seen him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, He's in basketball condition now. Quarter at the high right point. Gives it an e-camp between the circles with under five minutes to go in this opening quarter. Redskins give to knee camp, or excuse me, to Metzger. Knee camp now will let it fly off the heel of the rim. Pratt the board. He'll run the floor a little bit. Aiden Pratt going coast to coast and drops it in. Nice little quick crossover by the big man, taking it full length to the floor and finishing at the rim. Cash Shadel into that far corner. Now we'll pull back up to knee camp at the high left point. He'll give to quarter. Redderer on the right wing. Looks, finds quarter. He'll try to turn that corner. Floater swatted by Pratt, but it lands right back in the hands of Quarter. Turn around right hand, hook shot's good, and Jackson Quarter's got four. Good job by Quarter staying with it right there, getting his offensive rebound, like you said, after the block shot and converting that deuce there. Midway point of this first quarter. All tied at nine. Wessel, tightly guarded by Redderer, tries to get to the window, throws it off, can't knock it home, and the rebound comes down to Quarter. Knee camp on the left wing. Gives to quarter. A couple of guys wait at the scorer's table to check in. Redderer. Metzger lobs to quarter. Thought about the three there for just a moment. Instead, will slip the ball screen. Had it stripped away from him by Aiden Pratt. Wisely kept it inbounds, and he'll steal it, give a long outlet to Phillips. Bounce to Wessel. Crosses over at the left elbow. Gets a screen from Smith. Fires up a shot, can't hit. Cash Shadle gets the board. Jackson Quarter turns and looks for further instructions from third year head coach Trey Elker. And bounces to Metzger at the left elbow. He'll give to Redderer straight away. A little flex action here. Quarter open for three. Bang! Yeah, that's two big ones. Wapak's hit here opening in this first quarter. Yeah. Jackson Quarter already with seven points. Average is just. Averages 12, I was going to say just over 12, but averages right at 12 points, already seven here in this first quarter. And it's a 12-9 advantage for the Redskins. Gunner on the right wing. Wessel had a bit of space for just a moment, instead gets to the high post. Gives to Smith for three, off the heel. Pratt tried to grab the offensive rebound, instead it comes down to Metzger, and he'll race up the floor. Hand off to Shado, and he traveled with it. You can guarantee, you know, Van Wert's got the scouting report on Shadle with him coming in, hitting 18 threes on 39 attempts so far on the season. They really forced him to put it on the deck, and he got caught shuffling his feet right there for the turnover. Luke Wessel gets in the backcourt to Garrett Gunner. He'll bring it up the floor in the far corner to Phillips. Phillips bounces to Pratt with his back to the basket. Double team, doesn't matter. Aiden Pratt powers up a shot. He's got eight first quarter points. Yeah, if he gets it within five feet of the basket, good luck stopping him because he's going to find his way to the, to the rim. Two minutes, under two minutes remaining on the Layfeld Industrial Welding Supply scoreboard here in the first quarter as Metzger holds at the free throw line and gives to quarter. Metzger isolated on the near side of the floor, directing traffic. Lobs back to quarter. He'll turn the corner. In the lane, has to pick up the dribble and fire to pass right into the hands of Carson Smith. Or excuse me, A.J. Profit in the ball game. Pratt in the high post will bounce back to Nate Phillips at the high left point. Van Wert will reset with 90 seconds to go in the quarter. Kick to Wessel. Contested three. No. Rebound to Metzger. Metzger's having a big night on the glass for the Redskins here early in this first quarter. Jackson quarter. Patiently across the timeline as we approach one minute remaining in this first quarter. Redskins with the lead of the basketball. As Kneekamp drives to the left elbow, picks up the dribble, and will give back to quarter. Metzger tries to get it to Redderer down low. Instead to Kneekamp on the right wing. Floater hits every bit of the rim and drops home. And Zach Kneekamp now with five. Nice little curl cut there. Like you said, nice soft touch. 
Profit into that far corner. Phillips will have the basketball with 35 seconds and will walk back out. Phillips in front of the Wapak bench, gets that high ball screen and gives to Pratt on the left wing. He'll put it into the high post. Can't hit the bunny, but the rebound comes down to Luke Wessel. Jump ball is the call, and the possession arrow favors Wapak. So the Redskins get a bit of a gift with 15 seconds left in the quarter. Nice offensive rebound by Wessel, just unfortunately got tied up, but great effort. So conceivably, Wapak gets the final shot of the quarter. As Kneekamp now picks it up nearly at the volleyball line. And he'll give the quarter on the right wing with 10. Quarter in the high post, spins, turnaround jumper, fade away, no. Rebound to Smith, and a long outlet pass to Nate Phillips is up and good. His first basket of the evening cuts the lead to one at 14-13 on the Layfeld Industrial Welding Supplies scoreboard. We'll step aside, come back with second quarter action here on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and in Greenville. 14-13, Wapak the advantage over Van Wert there and an important bucket there by the Cougars at the horn, Gilly. Yeah, I don't want to say it was an ill-advised shot by Wapak because they, they, they got it where they wanted to, but I think he took it too quick. There was about eight seconds to go, and when you take an end-of-the-quarter shot, you want to make sure it's four seconds or less and not give the opponent an opportunity, and we just saw it happen. Van Wert went, what, 84 feet in less than eight seconds and got a bucket, a big bucket to end that first quarter. Cougars work the ball around the perimeter to profit in the near corner. Tries to drive baseline, will back back out. Give to Pratt, he'll put up a contested three, and it drops in. Got the soft bounce, the Cougar bounce. Pratt with 11 points already here in the first half. Average is 16 and eight rebounds, and already with 11 on the Layfeld Industrial and Water Supply scoreboard. We call that home cooking on the shot. I nice think, little curl there. I think that's fair as Metzger misses the initial shot, got his own offensive rebound, it's stripped, and it's coming back with the Cougars. Yeah, I think he was surprised he missed the first one, got the rebound, and then waited too long to take the second attempt. Phillips at the free throw line, gives it a far corner. Carson Smith back to Phillips, tries to break down the defender to Pratt. Missed his, or got the three-pointer, his last attempt. This one in the post, right hand hook shot, no. And four Redskins there for the rebound. It's Caleb Moyer, the one who comes down with it. Quarter into the high post. Kneekamp open for three. Couldn't hit. Pratt the rebound, and Kneekamp's one of those guys that if he's got any bit of daylight, he might let her fly. Oh, yeah, he's quick with the release. Phillips to the window, can't drop it in. Phillips fouled, and he'll shoot our first least famous recipe free throws of the evening. Good dribble drive there by Phillips. Couldn't get the bucket to draw, but going to get the uh, two free throws as a result. Each squad with a pair of players ready to check in at the scorer's table is Phillips, a 60% free throw shooter at the line. I think they got Sadler with the block there. And if there's one thing, Gilly, that Van, or Van Wert could really probably point to if we need to be better there. It's free throw shooting, Ooh. just 48% as a team. Yeah, I noticed that coming in too, partner, and, and that's a concern. It's got to be 33 of 69 coming in versus 48 of 75 for the opponents. And there you see Phillips missed them both. So the score remains 16-14 on the Layfeld Industrial Welding Supplies scoreboard. Quarter across the timeline. Gives to Kneekamp. Throws left to Redderer. Deacon Redderer gets to Moyer with his back to the basket at the free throw line. Hands off to Decamp. Spins. Scoop shot. Got it. And the foul. Nice move by that young man. A little spin dribble. Finished at the rim. Protected it. Going to get the old-fashioned and one. Zach Decamp, a six-foot junior guard. I, I believe a season ago, uh, he played a lot of JV and started to come on at the end of this season, but I think he might have been listed at 5'9", five, five, maybe 5'10", and so has grown a little bit here and has scored seven first quarter points, or seven first half points, I should say, and he'll stay at seven after missing the free throw. And the rebound comes down to 
the Cougars. Carson Smith has it. Brings up the floor to Wessel on the right elbow. Into the far corner to Gunner. Gunner tries to break down a defender. Gets in the air. Kicks to Smith. Spins at the left block. Finds a wide open Cougar. Floater off the mark, though. Rebound by Wessel is put back up and good. The kids just got a nose for the for the basketball, whether it be a basketball or an oblong thing called a football, but he's always around the ball. 18-16 to score. Cougars with the lead. Redskin basketball as Metzger has his back to the basket, turns and faces. Gibson and Ecamp thought about that three for a moment instead of a walk back out. Yeah, good job on the close out there by the Cougars. Metzger on the right wing. Gets a screen from Redderer in the post. Wanted the basketball, never got it. Now posted up on the left block. They'll lob it to him this time. Redderer had it poked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Redskins with, as we approach five minutes to go in the second quarter. Good job there doubling down by the Cougars. Wessel got his hands on the basketball and tipped it out of bounds. Metzger will inbound underneath his own basket as Kneekamp checks out. Cash Shadle back in the game for the Redskins. 5.06 to go on the Layfeld Industrial Wellness Supply scoreboard. Redskins inbound a quarter. Shadle holds and now works to his right. Gets back straight away to Moyer. Gives to Metzger. Metzger to Redderer with his back to the basket. Guarded by Pratt. Throws back to quarter between the circles. Quarter got up, tried to get it to Redderer. Instead, slips the ball screen, drives baseline, throws it off the window, can't hit. Poked back out of bounds by Redderer. It'll go to the Cougars. Yeah, a couple big bodies going at one another with Pratt and Redderer inside. A lot of active hands, a lot of deflections at both ends. Coach Elkert wanted a call there, I think, on Pratt. Officials letting him play. Cougars with the basketball. Wessel bounces to Gunner. Down low to Pratt. Turnaround is good for Pratt, and he's feeling it here in his first half. Well, that's that five-foot range we were talking about. If he gets it down there, he can do a lot of damage. Quarter inside the center circle. I'm going to stop the bleeding momentarily for the Redskins. Has it on the left wing. Bounces to Moyer. Moyer, the freshman, lobs back out to quarter at the high left point. Redskins quite patient here in this second quarter as we go under four minutes remaining in the first half. Moyer gives to Redderer. He'll scan and give back to Moyer. It's a screen from Metzger. Picks up the dribble. Now will lob to Metzger, slip past the defender. Double team looking to get rid of it. Metzger in the post, left hand hook shot. Got it and the foul. What a pretty move. Caught the ball in the post, squared up, tried to use a reverse pivot. Spun to his left and his right shoulder, got it above the rim, drew the foul, gonna get the and one. Nice patience. So Metzger, a 53% free throw shooter at the line. Can't hit that one. And a rebound comes down to Phillips. Long outlet pass to Gunner. Drives baseline, got in a tough spot. Gets it to Carson Smith in the near corner. He's able to contain it for just a moment. Gives to Phillips. Phillips at the elbow. Pratt thought about the three. Now we'll try to break down Metzger in the high post. Gives three ball on the way. No from Wessel. Rebound grabbed by Metzger once more. Another defensive rebound there by Nate Metzger. Okay, he's got quite a few for the 6-1 uh, junior, I believe. Yes, sir. And now Metzger holds the basketball with three minutes to go in this first half. Trailing. And a style like this plays into the visitors' hands. Oh, they got him on the back Metzger door. Metzger back door to knee camp, lays it off the window. An easy bucket for the junior. Give him nine first half points. And we are tied once more at 20. Great execution there by the Redskins. Gunner gets into the low post, lost the handle, oh, it's out of bounds. Carson Smith will take a seat on the bench for Van Word. AJ Profit checks in. 
So Redskins look to take the lead with a 20-20 ball game as we approach two and a half to go on the Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies scoreboard. Kneecamp hit the deck. No call either way. Lands in the hands of Metzger. Three ball on the way from Shadel. Swirls around. Rebound comes down to Wessel. Quickly up the floor. Luke Wessel looking to go end to end. Instead gives to Pratt. Pumps on the three. Gives to Phillips. They'll give to Wessel. Wessel drives. And the foul. Oh, they're going to get And the time? foul. By golly, they are. So give Luke Wessel a bucket. And he'll step to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Wessel looking to convert the old-fashioned three-point play off the heel. Not a lot of great free throw shooting tonight here. No, that's what I was just getting ready to say. The youngsters in the stands focus on free throw shooting. They're free for a reason. And it's just not a problem here tonight. I mean, it's a problem you know, throughout the United States. It's not an area of concern anymore. It doesn't appear to be. Jackson Quarter works to his right into the short corner, gives to Metzger with 140 to go on the Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supply scoreboard. Metzger turns the corner, jump stops at the left block, has to get rid of it. Knee camp saw an open window and splashes in a three. Timeout called by Wapak will step aside as well. Under 90 seconds to play in this first half here on WOSN. Cougar basketball out of the timeout with a one-point advantage, 20, or excuse me, one trailing by one, 23-22, as Garrett Gunner works to his right into the far corner to Smith. He'll spin easy bucket for Carson Smith, his first basket of the evening. Pretty move using that, like you said, to spin dribble and finishing at the rim. Jackson quarter across the timeline. One minute remaining in this first half. Redskins trailing by one. Niekamp already with 12 first half points. Gives to Metzger. Metzger drives to the window. Kisses it off the glass, can't hit, and the rebound comes down to Wessel. Tries to thread the needle, can't do it. It lands in the hands of Jackson Quarter or Wapak. Not only did he get the deflection, he got the steal. Redskins might be content to hold for the final shot here with 30 seconds left. Trailing by one. Again, you got to be careful. You got to make sure you don't shoot this too soon. Metzger fouled by Aiden Pratt. It's been a relatively clean first half. Just three fouls apiece. Well, if anything, that's a good foul. You know, it's there's no bonus there. Pratt's not in foul trouble. Breaks up any flow you had offensively. Yep, great point. You got to inbound the basketball now. Now they'll let, lob it into backcourt to quarter. Redskins look to take the advantage here as the first half ends. Metzger works to his left at the high left point with 10. Metzger working against Profit. Lost the handle on it. Long outlet pass once more by the Cougars and an easy bucket for A.J. Profit. The same story in the second quarter. Redskins lose the basketball and it ends up in Cougar hands off the window to end the quarter in Van Wert. Steps into the halftime break with a 26-23 advantage. We'll step aside, come back with third quarter action here in this Western Buckeye League tilt here on WOSN. Second half about to get underway here at Van Wert High School. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and in Greenville. Score is 26-23. Van Wert, the beneficiary of two buckets at the end of each quarter that Wapak tried to hold for the final shot, got the basketball stripped or an errant shot, and Van Wert able to capitalize at both ends. And really, that's pretty much the difference at this Junction, Gilly? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. I mean, that's four points. We're at a three-point deficit right now. You know, A.J. Uh, Profit made a big steal reach from behind right there at the end of the first uh, 
half there at the second quarter, and you know the Cougars got a bucket off of it. But uh, you got to like the pace. And if you're Wapaw coaching staff, you got to be pleased to be sitting here on the road in a tough environment, only down three. Jackson quarter had seven first quarter points. Gives back for a three ball for Cash Shadle on his first basket. Ties us at 26. Just knocked down number. I'm trying to see, I have the numbers here. Is 19th three on the season. Pratt angles to the left wing, gives to Phillips. Cougars into the near corner. Carson Smith lost the handle. It'll stay with Wapak. Van Wert Sport New Jerseys. It came in today, we're told by Van Wert Superintendent Mark Bagley. So I didn't get them all stretched out and all that fun stuff. But Aiden Pratt doing some work in the post. Missed a rare miss for Aiden Pratt down low. Ball's loose, still loose, and now the jump ball possession, the jump ball and a possession arrow favors Van Wert. Good job by Quarter maintaining his balance there and walling up, making it difficult for Pratt to hit that little bunny. Cougars looking into the near corner. Luke Wessel working around the perimeter to Phillips. Smith open for three. No. Rebound to Redderer. Zach Niekamp with 12 first half points. Brings the ball off the floor for the Redskins. Angles to the middle of the floor and gives to Quarter. Back to Niekamp with his heels on the center circle. He'll direct the traffic and give to Redderer on the right wing. He'll get the Shadle with his back to the basket. Gives to Redderer. Yeah, Pratt's really content. If Redderer's going to get it on the three-point line or higher, Pratt's is going to protect the rim. Yeah, and Redderer hasn't attempted a three-pointer this season as Niekamp turns and faces the basket. Now will back back out, try to give the basketball to quarter. Tight defense played by Carson Smith. Yeah, Van Wert appears to be tightening up a little bit with ball pressure, like he said, in the quarter court. Knee camp fouled by, by Phillips, excuse me. So we remain all knotted up at 26. Layfeld Industrial Walling Supply scoreboard says 6.25 to go here in this third quarter. Yes, Metzger will inbound to Knee Camp. Quarter, Redderer. And you're right, Phillips guarding the block, letting Redderer have all the space in the world. Knee Camp to the window. He's fouled by Pratt. And Zach Niekamp will shoot two least famous recipe free throws. Yeah, the official said Pratt got him with the body with the push. Niekamp, a 79% free throw shooter. Least famous recipe chicken in Wapak and Delphus bringing you free throws tonight. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Least famous recipe chicken home style happens here. First free throw attempt from Niekamp is up and good. Boy, I tell you, if I talk about Lee's famous recipe chicken any much longer, Gilliam. I'm telling you. You're going to be hearing me 79. salivating. Oh, I'm trying, that's why I'm trying to change the subject. 79% free throw shooter. And he hit them both. Gives Zach Niekamp 14, averages 13, so over his season average so far. And the lead now rests with the Redskins. Wessel drives to the right block. In the lane, tries to hang, fouled. The foul committed by Deacon Redderer. A 6'7 senior. Young man did everything right defensively, except he lunged. And once he lunged, that allowed Mr. Wessel to do a little up and under and yeah, slide by. Never got in the air, never, you know, left his feet. Yeah, that 6'7 length partner plays out to be about 7'3 or 7'4. No, absolutely. Carson Smith, errant shot, rebound to Metzger. He's able to clear some space to secure the rebound and crosses the timeline. Metzger trying to go coast to coast. Out of bounds, off of the coup. Nope, they'll, they'll reverse it. Yeah, they're saying it went off of Wessel's last possession touch there. So it stays with the Redskins, trying to inbound a quarter. Get it there. Back to the basket. Gives to Metzger. Metzger's had a nice ball game so far here tonight. Yeah, both ends of the floor, very consistent and solid. Redderer on the right wing. Pratt. As we mentioned, content to give him all the space in the world to operate with as Quarter gets the basketball, doesn't use the screen into the short corner near side. Quarter back to the basket, jump stops, fires up a shot, left it short, goes out of bounds, and they'll say it stays with the Redskins. Yeah. 
So Metzger inbounds, 5.15 to go in this third quarter. To Shadle on the right wing, hands off to Metzger. A lob in the near quarter to Niekamp, trying to get him open for a three. Lost his footing for just a moment, and will trip. And the foul committed by Carson Smith. You know, I think Van Wert's trying to get the tempo to their yeah. liking. I think they're trying to be a little more physical defensively. They're trying to, you know, to force the issue to, to make Walpock speed themselves up. And I think, you know, if, if you're Walpock, just maintain your composure and do the little things. Ryan Sadler, the inbound, a 6'4 junior, with his back to the basket, looking for the backdoor cut to Neekamp. Got too deep, blocked by Pratt out of bounds. And it will stay with the Redskins once more with just under five minutes to go on the Layfeld Industrial Welding Supply scoreboard here in this third quarter. What a luxury to have where you can keep your big fella, you know, Pratt inside and <clears throat> be such a presence with his length and his strength. Sadler on the right wing. Will bounce to Metzger at the free throw line. Metzger in the lane, picks up the dribble. Sadler thought about the three. He'll put it on the deck, and it's stripped by Wessel. Phillips quickly in transition. Kicks in the near corner to Smith. Thought about the three. Wessel, pump fakes, drives a lane, throws up a wild shot, and a foul committed by the Redskins. So that, I think they got Ryan Sadler. They did. That's Sadler's second. So Wessel will step to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Wessel, 50% on the season from the charity stripe. He got that one to go. Well, I think Coach Elker's trying to find a combination, you know, where they had Redder on the floor that he was, you know, a non-factor offensively. I think they're trying to find somebody that's capable of hitting that 15, 17-footer. Yeah. Wessel's second free throw attempt is true as well. He's got nine points, which is just shy of his season average. So we're all knotted up once more at 28. 420 remaining here in this third quarter. Jackson quarter with the basketball. Bounces to Metzger on a right wing. Patiently gives to Cash Shadle. Shadle to Niekamp. Trying to make something happen. Crosses over. Gives to Sadler. One in that three. Thought better of it. Metzger has it at the free throw line. Lobs to quarter in the right wing. He'll bring it back out as Phillips tightly pressuring Jackson quarter. He'll give to Metzger, try to give to Metzger, I should say, as it's stolen away by Wessel to Smith. Gives to Wessel, thought about the contested three. Instead gives to Gunner. Pratt in the far corner, baseline drive. Pratt, great finish by the senior. He's got 15. Nice first step, getting around the defender there. First basket of the second half there for Pratt. Makes it 30-28, and a timeout called by Wapak. will step aside as well. Cougars with the lead in basketball when we return here on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and in Greenville. Redskin basketball out of the timeout. Trailing by two, 30-28, 3.30 to go on the Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies scoreboard. Jackson quarter, baseline drive, creates a little room and drops one in. His first basket since the first quarter. Gives us a tie once more at 30 all. Yeah, they tried to use the ball screen there and he rejected the screen and took it hard to the rim and finished. Pratt throws left to Wessel. Into the far corner, Smith. Carson Smith puts it on the deck, drives, can't hit off the window. And then a foul committed on the rebound attempt as Ryan Sadler came down with it. That is Carson Smith's second foul. It's the fourth committed by the Cougars here in the second half. Good job taking it to the rim. I think that's more of a frustration foul than anything because yeah. he, he just couldn't knock that one in. Shadle brings it across the timeline, gives a quarter. He'll try the same drive that Smith did. He stepped on the end line. So he went to get the plant foot and pivot. Got the toe on the black line here. Yeah, they hit a big three at the start of the third quarter at that same set. It's almost a dribble drive to the baseline, and they set a little back screen action and bring that man and roll him over the top to get that three. Like you said, stepped out of bounds. 
three ball from Profit on the way. Bang! And that's what that young man can do. He's been known to shoot the basketball. It's a big three. Solid five points for, for that young man. Yes, sir. All five bench points scored tonight for Van Wert coming by Profit. And in a tight ball game. Gives them the three-point lead. Cougars, or Redskins, excuse me, trying to get a three of their own. Off the mark, thrown back into play by Smith. Long outlet pass to Profit on the right wing. Euros to Pratt in the lane. Teardrop floater, missed everything, but got it back. And Pratt drops it in to give him 17 points. Good body control there. Very easily could have got a charge. So just like that, the Cougar lead extends to five. Miss Sadler will hold the basketball on the right left wing. Metzger. Gives to Corder. Gets a screen from Metzger. Sadler straight away. He'll put up the three. Missed everything. Metzger the offensive rebound and put back. Big offensive rebound by the 6'1 junior. It's a big play to cut the lead. Once more to three. Profit gives to Pratt. Sees a little bit of room. Smith back to Profit. He'll put up a three off the heel of the rim. And a rebound comes out to Shadle. 35-32 on a Lakefeld Industrial and Welding Supply scoreboard. Sadler on the right wing. Surveys, gives to quarter between the circles. Screen from Metzger. Works left. Knee camp. Long contested three. Can't hit. It goes over the top of the backboard. You see Trey Elkert, not really a big fan of that shot. Yeah, I think that's one he's trying to work a little bit of time and get a little better shot, like you said, anytime you can shoot the three, but I think he wants to go a little higher percentage on the attempt. 35-32. Cougars the lead in the basketball. It's Phillips works. Pratt, right elbow. Mid-range jumper, silky smooth. Oh, nice body control. One hard dribble, attack. 15-footer knocked him in that mid-range shot. Big. Redskins have not been great at the end of quarters here tonight. Trying to reverse that here. Metzger, cross-court pass to Sadler in the corner. To Kneekamp. Quarter has it with 20 seconds. This is Metzger. Works to the middle of the floor with 10. Bounces to quarter. Tries to turn the corner. Contested jump shot, hits every bit of the rim. Quarter drops it in. And that is how the Redskins, I assume, wanted the first two quarters to go. Nonetheless, after three, it's 37-34. We've got a tight one here in Van Wert on WOSN. Plenty of options for our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. For more Stolly Hustle Award winners, check out the WOSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner. The whole name after the conclusion of tonight's contest, 37-34. The score here is Van Wert leads Wapak. After three quarters of play, Redskins with the basketball looking to tie. Knee camp. Miscommunication, it's stolen away by A.J. Profit. Nearly had it poked away, he'll scoop it back up in the backcourt. Couple steals for that young man tonight, a three and a two off the bench. Phillips into the far corner to Caden Schaefer. Phillips straight away, drives, kicks to Pratt. Thought about the three, pumped on it, it's dead. Wessel holds it at the right rail. In the mid post, back to Schaefer. Much better job by Redder walling up inside there, not reacting to the pump fake and the ball fake by Wetzel. Wessel on that drive. Wessel on the right wing. Gets to Schaefer. Bounces to Phillips. Working against quarter. Cougars patient offensively to begin this fourth quarter. Pratt holds it, tries to break down Metzger. Right elbow, gives back to Profit. Pumped on the three. Will take the three. Left it short. Long rebound, grabbed by Schaefer. And Metzger had it dribble thrown back off of him. He tried to dribble, and he dribbled it on the sideline. Great, great effort there by Schaefer. Chasing the ball down in the right corner. Slamming it off of the defender, Metzger, from Wapak. Those are the little things you're not going to see in the stats, but when it comes time for 
offensive possessions, it's huge. Cougars along the sideline, inbound to Pratt. As this extended possession continues for Van Wert. Cougars with the lead. Pratt, free throw line jumper, too strong. Long rebound comes out to Gunner. Cougars quite deliberate offensively as Phillips drives in the short corner back to Pratt. Wessel guarded by Rederer, gives to Gunner. Jump stop in the high post, leans, hits, and the foul. Yeah, that was a slap down there. I think if, if Porter would have just maintained his possession with his body, but once he slapped down on that basketball, that's a no-no, and the official's going to catch it. That's the first basket by Garrett Gunner. He'll step to the least famous recipe free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. Gunner got the and one. Lead now 40-34. As we approach six minutes to play on the Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supply scoreboard. Redderer holds the basketball to Metzger at the free throw line. Pump fakes on a jumper. Instead gives to Niekamp. Niekamp to the window. Niekamp hits. And he's got 16 tonight. Pretty job right there, using the sweet move and the dribble drive and attacking to the basket. Wessel will give to Phillips. He'll direct the offense, gets a screen from Wessel. Gunner just scored three points the last time down. Gives to Wessel. Carson Smith gives up to Pratt. Phillips eyed that rim for just a brief moment. Gunner tries to break down quarter in the high post. Lost the handle on it for a moment. Threw up an errant shot. Redderer the rebound. Good job by the Redskins defensively, keeping the basketball in front of them and containing that dribble drive. The camp gives to quarter with his he heels on the center circle. Redderer. Pratt's just decided it isn't a threat to put up a jumper. And will sag off. Metzger. Still with his back to the basket, gives to Niekamp. Niekamp points out the spot he wants the screen, rises and fires, can't hit. Offensive rebound by Redderer's put back up and good. He had a big foul, went and got it at his peak on the rebound and got the put back. Deacon Redderer's first basket of the night cuts the lead to two, 40-38. Garrett Gunner in front of his own bench, gets a high ball screen from Pratt, works to his right, crosses over, jump stops, throws it off the window, no. Niekamp the rebound. Redskins have the chance to tie or take the lead after trailing by as many as six here in this early portion of the fourth quarter. Cash Shadel. Redderer in the corner, holds and gives to Niekamp. Redskins looking for a high quality shot in this pivotal po point in this basketball game. Shadel holds it high above his head. Gives to Niekamp. Trying to hand off. Instead, will keep it himself. Drives the left side of the lane. Picked it up. And a timeout called by Wapak. Will step aside as well. 4.02 to go in this fourth quarter. Redskins trail by two. They have the basketball when we return on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. And our Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies scoreboard reads 40-38. Redskins with the basketball trailing by two. After the timeout by head coach Trey Elker. They'll lob into Jackson quarter, still in the front court. Ball swatted at by Nate Phillips, trying to just see if it had any chance of coming out. Miss Redderer has it to right elbow and gives to Metzger. Metzger gives to quarter, coming off the screen on the right wing. Trying to get it to Niekamp, still holding the basketball. Gives to Redderer. Little dribble to the top of the key and give to Quarter. Quarter will back back out, throw to Redderer. Aiden Pratt tying his shoe <laughs> while guarding Redderer. Metzger with his back to the basket to Quarter. Thought about letting that jumper fly. Instead, we'll try to back down a defender and they'll call him for a charge. That's a left shoulder. You know, that's one where he's got to face up to the basket and then make his move. And I think he, he did a power dribble, and, and that's where he dropped his shoulder. Nice defense there by Phillips for the charge. Second foul committed by Quarter. Score stays 40-38. 
Cougars leading the basketball. Garrett Gunner gives to the top of the key to Carson Smith. Phillips guarded by Shadle. Drives to the high post. Wide open for three from Wessel. Trying to extend that lead. Got the offensive rebound, though, did the Cougars. Pratt gives to Wessel once more. Creates a little bit of room and a foul committed by Rutterer. That's a 6-7 versus a 6-footer, and that's where you just, you got to use your length and just maintain distance there. You can't give Van Wert second, third opportunities, partner, and that's, you know, the second half. I think Wapak mm -hmm. has done that. Garrett Gunner right of his own basket. Lobs to Pratt in the high post. Backs back out. We'll drive once more. What a fantastic move by Aiden Pratt. Give him 21 points. Timeout call. We'll step aside as well with 2.40 to go here in the fourth quarter and a four-point lead for Van Wert on WOSN. Out of the timeout, a four-point lead for Van Wert. 42-38, 2.40 remaining on the Layfeld Industrial Wellness Supply scoreboard. I'm here at C. Wright, joined alongside Darren Gilbert, bringing you this Western Buckeye League affair. Redskins looking to trim that lead. Knee camp on the left wing, bounces to quarter. Holding the basketball. Quarter works down low, double team, swatted by Pratt. Ball still loose. Quarter has it, lays it off the window and drops it in. Good second effort there. Pratt again with the block, rotating from the weak side, but Quarter hung in there, got it, and stuck it back in. 42 40. Gunner in a tough spot where he was straddling the midcourt stripe. Cougars get out of it. Phillips, no look pass in the corner, three off the mark, and a rebound comes down to Metzger. Yeah. Redskins very fortunate right there because if that three goes down. Metzger hangs, hits, and we're tied. Metzger with eight. And and we, jo we jokingly said, what did we think the magic number was going to be? We Over said, 47, yep, first, right? yep. If you got to 45 first, you liked your chances, and we're tied at 42 as we approach 90 seconds to play. Cougars working around a perimeter. Pratt holds on to the basketball, gives to Smith. Wessel looks straight away to Gunner. Into the far corner. Pratt at the top of the key working on Metzger. Gives to Gunner. Guarded by Quarter. Gunner drives in the lane. Long kick out to Wessel, and he'll bring it back out. Pratt holds the basketball, directs the offense with exactly one minute remaining in this fourth quarter, tied at 42. Smith, jump stops at the block. Gunner for three in the lead. No, and a rebound grabbed by the Redskins. And a timeout called. And we'll step aside as well. 50 seconds remain in this barn burner here on WOSN. 50.9 seconds remain on the Layfeld Industrial Welding Supply scoreboard. Is that too long to hold for the final shot here, Gilly? I think it is. I, you know, we talked you know, in pregame, Van Wert is a senior dominant team versus Wapak with a lot of underclassmen. Now granted, this is game 10, but uh, I think you want to get a high quality attempt. We'll see what the Redskins dial up here. Tied at 42 and a foul committed by Carson Smith. It's just the fifth foul. Yeah, not a bad idea. You know, you got a couple to give right here. Trying to get him to up-tempo the game yeah. and, and turn the basketball over. Because I think still with Wapak, they'll still be deliberate with the basketball. They got 43 seconds, a couple of time, uh, one timeout remaining. They've got to protect the basketball, though, because Van Wert's going to make an effort to go for it. Metzger hands off to Neekamp. He'll stand inside the center circle, guarded by Phillips. Swats at the basketball and takes to the high right point. Quarter, the handoff. He'll bring to the near sideline, give to Metzger with under 30 seconds. 20 seconds now. Metzger tries to turn a corner. And they'll give it to Neekamp at a timeout called by the Redskins with 14 seconds remaining. We'll keep it here, 13.9 to be exact. 42-42, and really, it seemed as if Wapak was content unless they got just a wide open backdoor cut to, to run it down to about this point. You know, here's going to be the interesting thing. That's Wapak's last time out, partner. Yeah. Van Wert still got one foul to give. 
long as it's not an active shooting foul, they're going to put some pressure on that basketball, yeah. whether it be a double team or reach behind. The only thing that coach is telling them, uh, Coach Loudig is, is if you're going to foul them, don't put them in an active shooting situation. So you may see them They'll play a little soft until it gets down under the seven, six range, and then commit a foul there, a common foul, and then because you know, Walpock being out of those timeouts, he's got to make all his decisions now from the sidelines verbally. Do you do you chance letting them run it down a little bit more and make them foul so they have to inbound it one more time? I think you're going to get up into their crawl right away and get it down to about eight, and then commit a foul, that common foul. You know, I, right, you don't want to risk so a shooting foul. Ways. Exactly. You do not want to put them at the charity stripe in an active shooting situation. Looks like Van Wert will take a timeout well, as well now that they've seen how the Redskins want to line up out of the timeout. So 13.9 to go, 42-42. The score is 37-34 after three quarters. And it's a luxury right now. Three timeouts left for Van Wert. He wants to force, you know, if he doesn't get the ball, put them in a situation where maybe they shoot the ball with six seconds to go. If it's not converted, Van Wert pops another timeout. Yeah, and timeout. I was going to say, even if Wapak does make make the shot, you've got three more timeouts left, yep. depending on when they make the shot, if they make the shot. But you got three timeouts. You don't have to worry about, you know, putting your kids in a situation where they call timeout and you don't have one or anything like that. Van Wert still with... Several to work with here. Aiden Pratt with 21 points to lead all scorers tonight. Nate Metzger has eight. He'll lob it in to Zach Niekamp, tightly guarded by Phillips, trying to work that basketball loose, nearly had it, and a foul committed by the senior. Had one to give, so now the Cougars with six, with nine seconds remaining, and mentioned there that. He just wanted him to think about it. You and know, put that, put that in I, their mind, that aggressive style. I don't think making them inbound one more time is a bad idea either. Kneecamp at the top of the key. Holds it, backdoor pass to Corder oh, for the lead, the and he's fouled. Jackson Corder will step to the free throw line with 1.7 seconds, looking to seal away a victory. i tell you, that was a heck of a bounce pass. That got through two defenders. Quarter's first free throw attempt from the least famous recipe free throw line is up and he swirled around and out. Coming in 27 to 40, 68 percent. Quarter, the 6 5 senior forward, can give the Redskins the lead with under two seconds and they're going to make him think about it. We'll step aside as well. 1.7 remaining. Jackson Quarter at the free throw line when we return here on WOSN. <laughs> All knotted up at 42 with 1.7 seconds remaining. Jackson Quarter, a 6'5 senior forward for Wapak, at the line, a made free throw, gives the Redskins the lead, a miss, potentially sends us to overtime. Cougars still have two more timeouts if they were to secure a rebound. I think they're in a situation now that if Quarter makes this, I think he's already got his play designed. If I'm Van Wert, because if not, he takes a timeout. Now you're letting the visitors get their defense set. Quarter, a 68% free throw shooter, missed it. Timeout called with 1.2. So quarter missed them both. And Van Wert's going to have a crack at letting one fly. And I, I guess I should point out, Gilly, I announced a Van Wert Wapak football game that ended in the spectacular finish that Wapak. Blocked the punt in the final moments, returned for a touchdown to give them an improbable victory. 1.2, going to get a throw in from half court, conceivably. I, well, I think the officials are talking about where are we throwing this ball look in. Look at the foul situation. Van Wert has one to give. Or, excuse me. Wa yeah, Wapak. Wapak has one to give here. So it may be one of those where, but you got to have the uh, clock st started, number one, and number two. It cannot be I was overly say, aggressive, and you got to make sure you're going for the basketball. Because basically, at best, you're inbound of the basketball to somebody on the move. They get one dribble and let it fly, even if it, if maybe one dribble might be asking too much. Do you take the chance of fouling that guy? Or you just foul somebody? I think it depends on where it is on the court. You want to keep everything in front of you. Obviously, you don't want to let anybody in. Also, though, inbound on the baseline. Yeah, they're going to look for the home run here. 
So 1.2 to go. Garrett Gunner, the six-foot senior, will inbound. Deacon Rutterer, the six-seven senior, will guard the inbound. Gunner lets it fly to Pratt. Turnaround jumper for the lead. No. Cougar faithful thought Pratt got fouled. Doesn't matter. We're headed to overtime. Tied at 42. We'll come back for the overtime period here on WOSN. Free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. If your heart rate wasn't high enough, we're going to an overtime tied at 42. You know, just looking at the numbers, Wapak at the free throw line, 90 and 135 coming in at 67%. And what we talked about, the Achilles heel for Van Wert. 33 is 69 for 48 percent. So it's going to come down to free throws, partner. And the Cougars win the tip off and will come to the right. Smith in the high post to Pratt. He'll throw left to Phillips. Crosses over. Wessel in the far corner, puts it on the deck, guarded by Retterer. Hands off to Smith. Picks it up, gives back to Wessel. Cougars content to be deliberate here in this overtime period. Already 30 seconds gone. Phillips for three in the lead. No. Metzger. Another carom for the young man. I was going to say, I don't know how many times we've said Metzger the rebound for Wapak, but it's been a lot here tonight. Retterer on the right wing. Gives to Quarter. Metzger the ball screen. Knee camp between the circles. Three minutes remain. Retterer. On the left wing, surveys, puts it on the deck, lobs to quarter on the right side. Quarter in the high post, leans, hits. Tell you, the big fellow just absolutely took the basketball with, with his will there and willed his way to the rim and got that basket. So 44 42. Redskins with the lead. Cougars. Pratt hands off to Wessel, tries to break down Rutterer to the window, lost the handle, goes out of bounds, stays with Van Word. Okay, the Redskins really fortunate there. Rutterer got caught on his heels there. He's got to stay, keep the weight on the balls of his feet, keep those feet shuffling side to side. Gunner bounces right into Wessel and he lays it up and in. Nice little cross screen with a pin action. And Wessel popped open right there. Nice little pass finish. Wessel shoots 75% from inside the three-point line. You see why right there. We're all knotted up once more at 44. Quarter gets the screen from Metzger, works to the left, and gives back to Metzger at the top of the key. The 6'1 junior gives back to Quarter. Retterer. Trying to keep it out of Neekamp's knee knee hands as much as possible. Quarter gets the screen from Metzger. Drives to the window, teardrop high off the glass, can't get it, long rebound, comes out to the Cougars. Wessel will pick it up and give to Gunner. Phillips bounces right back to Gunner. Smith to Pratt, left block, double teamed. Will dribble out of it with 90 seconds remaining in overtime. Tries to break down Metzger, baseline, picks it up. Gives to Smith for three in the lead. No, and the rebound grabbed by Retterer. Good job by Metzger there on Pratt, keeping him in front and taking away that dribble drive action. Kneecamp gets it across the timeline to Quarter. Retterer on the right wing will hold. Give back to Quarter, just standing right in the center circle. Retterer. As Pratt continues to sag off of him, and he's content to hold the basketball. Coach Elkridge telling, just hold the basketball. Make Pratt come out and guard you. Yes. And now he did. All knotted up at 44 with under a minute to go. 45 seconds to be exact on the Layfell Industrial and Welding Supply scoreboard. The Redskins like running a high post shuffle cut action. Quarter to Metzger, pump faked on the three. Redskins with 30 seconds now. Retterer holding, holding, gives to Metzger. 20 seconds remaining. Remember, Cougars in the bonus. 
They'll send Van Wer they'll send Wapak to the line with a foul. Kneecamp trying to draw a foul and a timeout called by Trey Elkert. 10.6 seconds remain in this overtime period, all tied up at 44. We'll step aside. We'll keep it here. We'll keep it here with 10.6 to go. And really, Wapak content here, Gilly, to run down the last minute of the clock or so. And, and I think it's a smart play by Trey Elkert to tell uh, Deacon Redderer, make Aiden Pratt come out and guard you. If, he's, if, if you can if stand here not, and hold the basketball. Stand there and hold the basketball. Rule is six feet before the count starts. Here's my question. They still have the one foul to give, right? Yeah. You know, put yourself in a situation. You take the shot. You take it underneath four seconds. Anything later than that, you're putting Van Wert in an opportunity, you know, to get an offensive possession here. And it's going to be interesting to see because Van Wert can't foul unless they've done their statistical numbers and they know who to foul. Maybe they take that opportunity and foul immediately if the, the right person has the ball so they can get the ball back. And I think it's important to mention that the first two quarters ended with Wapak coughing up the basketball, leading to layups for Van Wert. Now it changed in the third quarter where Much Wapak- Much better job yeah. ex executing, didn't they? Good so point. we'll see how it all shakes out here with 10 seconds to go, but something to keep in the back of your mind. Redskins inbound to knee camp. Shadle to quarter. Doesn't use the ball screen, and a foul committed by the Cougars will send Quarter back to the line. Quarter missed two free throws at the end of regulation that would have gave the Redskins the lead from the league's famous recipe free throw line. And yeah, I don't 60. know that it's a coincidence that they fouled Quarter. Was well, 68% of the charity strike. He didn't look good on his last two. Let's see if he can't bounce back right here. The 6'5 senior forward shooting the front end of a one and one for the lead, and he got it. Jackson Quarter with 5.1 seconds gives Wapak a 45-44 lead. Cougars still two timeouts should they want to take one. Quarter once more, and he hit them both. So the Cougars inbound to basketball. Pratt across the timeline, and a timeout called with 2.7 seconds remaining, and a two-point lead for Wapak. And the Cougars will have the basketball out of the timeout. We'll keep it here. What a fantastic high school basketball game tonight, Gilly. It's a great high school game. Two teams that are very well prepared. Kids have laid it on the line. Coaches have coached. We've discussed it at the end of regulation. Redskins still with a foul to give. I think well, you've got to use, depending upon the situation. Because with 2.7, it's not necessarily a catch and shoot just quite yet for Wapa, or for I mean, Van Wert. You can get the ball to the basket off the dribble drive. So down two. Is Van Wert looking for a three here? Or are they trying to just get whatever best shot they can get? I think you got. I think you got to get the ball into your big fella's hand inside. You know, and, and, and at least let Pratt get a touch. If they double and kick it outside for a spot up jump shot. Aiden Pratt with 21 points here this evening. Jackson Quarter with 17 for Wapak. 16 for Zach Niekamp. I see Van Wert decided to go with A.J. A.J. Profit. Profit is into the game. He's had a really nice game shooting the basketball. He can really shoot it, so let's see what they do defensively. Pratt is the closest Cougar at the bottom of your screen. He'll wheel around, and a foul committed by the Redskins before the inbound. So now the next foul will send Van Wert to the line. 2.7 seconds remain. 46-44 on the Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supply scoreboard. Gunner the inbounder. Joined on the floor by Smith, Pratt, Profit, and Wessel. And a timeout called by Van Wert didn't like their options. So again, we'll keep it here. 46-44. And you got a couple of looks at what Van Wert was trying to draw up there. Gilly, what'd you see? I seen the one that they went to like a stack set and they they put Pratt in the back and run like a curl action. And I see what they were trying to do. They were trying to get him loose down under the mm -hmm. rim action. And then they wanted to, to, to pop profit to the top off of a, like a little down screen set there by um, Wessel. So you have two options there. I, you know, they're going to get a shot opportunity. It's just it's going to be interesting to see how the Redskins to, de you know, de de to, excuse me, to determine how they want to go about doing it. 
And I was going to ask, you know, that first motion by Pratt, is that just to see, hey, you know, if he's wide open, go ahead and lob Absolutely. it in there. And get it, get we'll it to the big fella in the one-on-one -on -one situation. So now both squads out of timeouts. Next free throw, next foul will send somebody to the line. Gunner looking, they'll lob back door to Pratt. Got it. He'll try to lay it up, couldn't get it. And the Redskins escape with a victory. Hayden Pratt got a look at it on the lob. Got a bit too deep underneath the hoop. Tried to lay it up and in. And somehow, someway, the Wapak Redskins grab a 46-44 win over the Van Wert Cougars. That's a big win for Wapak. And, you know, being on the road for how many did you say? Four straight or five straight? Yeah, five straight? straight road games for Van Wert. You know, it's good to get back into your home court. And unfortunately, they made one less play than what uh, – Walpock did, but what a gritty effort by both ball clubs and both coaching staffs and both teams, I believe, are going to see one another in sectionals too. So, but a but a big WBL win by Walpock on the road. Tough tough place to play here. Anytime you can sneak one in the WBL on the road, you you uh, hats off to you. So 46-44, the final score. The Walpock Redskins coming to Van Wert at three and seven, and they grab a victory for their first Western Buckeye League win of the season to win 46-42. Redskins led in scoring tonight. Jackson Quarter, and a, and a nice redemption story there for Jackson Quarter. Hits two free throws in overtime after missing a pair at the end of the fourth quarter that could have won it in regulation for the Redskins. It, it, he ends up sealing the victory for Wapaw. Yeah, that's a, bit, that's a big shot by that young man, the senior, six foot five, like you said, Missing two there at the end of regulation and then bouncing back and knocking two in right there. Great defensive play there. Great. I love the out of bounds play that Van Wert ran. They got the ball to their big. Uh, you know, maybe the pass is a little bit offline, but he did get a hold of it and did get a shot opportunity. But give a lot of credit to the Redskins for defending him, walling up and not making his shot opportunity at the rim the easiest. So Jackson Quarter scores 17 points in a win, 16 for Zach Niekamp. Aiden Pratt scores 21 points in the loss for Van Wert. So the Redskins move to four and seven on the season. Meanwhile, Van Wert drops to six and two. Both of their losses now coming in WBL play. So that will do it for us here at Van Wert. Redskins victorious in overtime, 46-44 for Jacob and Steven and our entire WOSN crew and Darren Gilbert. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long here, and we'll catch you next time on WOSN.